Oh, hello YouTubers. We're just out for a ride on the bike. Do a bit of filming here and there. Uh, saw that the sun was out, so I thought, gotta go for it, like, gotta go for it. Get out on the bike, it's cold, but doesn't matter. So, the plan is to head out towards Walltown Crags today. I'm gonna do a bit of filming up there. Walltown Crags, obviously, from the name, you can tell it's on the wall. They hit Hadrian's Wall, the Roman Wall, in the north of England here. And uh, like I've been taking the dog out there quite a lot and I thought you know what it's a lovely place this I should uh, do a bit of filming for YouTube and what have you so that's the uh, the idea anyway so it should be about 25 minutes to get there We're on the A69, which is a road that runs between Carlisle and um, Newcastle. This side of it is all like pretty much single carriageway, pretty much. Well, I say single carriageway, obviously dual carriageway, but not dual carriageway as in two sets of lanes. Um, yeah, no, you know what I mean. It's quite busy. Yeah, there is some clouds kicking about though. Some that look like the threatening rain. Let's hope we don't get any of those. Or any of that, should I say. Uh, with regards to the bike, nothing's much has changed. I think, well, apart from the the bar ends, of course, we've got them on. Um, you can't get a cam for the uh, rhizoma. Um, grips, but uh, it's the same shape as as the uh, original on the original grips so I'm thinking I might try and um, you know adjust it myself you know with a needle file or something like that you know just uh, I just don't think the plastic is very good on them though it has to be said so it might not take that sort of abuse eh? so I might just leave the standard grips on them apart from that though nothing left shows has changed on the bike um, it goes in next week for its big clean get the paintwork up to scratch again and then I'll be starting to put um, decals on it now this is the bypass that bypasses Brampton now, they've done a lot of work on the A69 with bypasses you know on the little, little villages on this side of the of the country but um, to be quite honest it could do with being dual this because it you know it does get quite busy sometimes like it's not too busy today but or certainly not at the moment and I think it could do with it like because you get a lot of uh, trucks and stuff yes try looking It's some lovely countryside as you start to head into Northumbria here. And you think to yourself, oh my god, them Romans living up here must be mad. But there's whole sections of the wall that still remain. This is my... Don't. 
is my favourite part of the wall. Just from its ruggedness, you know. You'll see when we get there, it's, uh, it's quite spectacular. mile an hour through here because of that crossroads I think and there's been one or two accidents here because you've got bends on both sides of the crossroads and people do tend to fly through here this part of it and they've got uh, cameras on the top of this hill as well speed cameras So I've been thinking about getting another camera, maybe retiring the uh, Hero 5, although it's nothing wrong with it, it has to be said, you know, it's still a great camera. They're going to get another Hero 7, I know the Hero 9 has just come out and uh, seems to be a nice camera and everything. But, um, I'm quite impressed with the Hero 7 to be quite honest. The hell. You normally get people slowing down to bloody 40 mile an hour on here. Although there is a hidden junction just here as well, like. up here it's pretty barren up here and you'll see when we get to the top of this hill it's a pretty barren place so Waltown Crags yeah it's a, it's a country park as well um, you know they've got a visitor's centre there and there's the, there's the um, museum the Roman Army Museum I'm not going to visit that I don't even know if it's uh, open to be quite honest um, really I'm just going to go up on the wall and show you another couple of bits um, with regards to what's in that area uh, but it is a nice area this nice place So yeah, camera wise, yeah, I'm thinking of getting a new one uh, at some point. And again, I think it will just be the Hero 7 as long as it's still available. Because it's a good and cheap like, hey, you know, I can get them for 250 quid. You know, with my GoPro, uh, what do you call it? Like, I think they're doing that as an offer on all the cameras at the moment. Really cheap if you sign up for a year. 
I am signed up, but I'm not signed up for a year. Um, just on a mo monthly basis, you know what I mean? I can cancel it any time. If anybody's got a GoPro, I would definitely recommend getting a GoPro Plus for the seven quid a month that it is. Is it seven quid or six quid? Can't remember. So anyway, it's cheap, and uh, you get, like I say, you get loads of discount off any accessories that you might buy. And yeah, don't get us wrong. I know you can get like cheap Chinese ex uh, uh, um, accessories, but um, you know. I think the uh, clues in the title there, cheap Chinese. Cheap, it's not going to last very long. You know, that's that's the, at the end of the day, it's not going to do the job that it's supposed to do, this whatever accessory it is. Don't get us wrong, there's some good ones out there, but you're not getting them cheaper. You know, things like Polar Pro filters, for example. Excellent filters, ND filters that is but you pay for them you know you buy something like Niwa or I don't know some of these other things that are out there you know you're not going to get the quality you know they'll, then they won't do the job eh? Town Crags right ahead of us there. There's actually three hills, they call them the Three Sisters. I can't remember what the actual crags are called. Is it Sin Crags or something like that? Sin, Sai Crags? Mm. I'll put something up somewhere to say what it is. I think it's Sai Crags. You can see it's a pretty pretty nasty looking place you can imagine this in the dead of winter Oof. you wouldn't want to be stationed here in the Roman army I'll tell you so we're just heading down to um, Greed, uh, Greed Head at the moment where we're going to turn off and we're going to join the military road which is the old Roman military road and we'll be on that for a mile well not even a mile actually about half a mile ah uh, Sill Sill Crags the Sill This is green head. Nice little Northumberland village. big hill well there's <laughs> bit up here myself on a bush bike before it's hard work so just round the corner here we'll be turning off I 
like I say, there is a visitor's centre here, which is a bit windy. Disabled. Disabled, eh? So we'll put it on here. It'll be alright on there. Right, chaps, I'll get myself sorted out and then uh, get back with you. So, see you shortly. Right, okay. I hope you can hear us okay and uh, what have you. This is the first thing I wanted to show you this big old fossil which they must have found in the, uh, in the quarry. Very awesome looking thing. I don't know what it is like. Some sort of sea creature. Really amazing though. Really amazing. Yeah. This is the quarry area here. You can't see half of it from here. I'll uh, nip up this hill actually and uh, show you some of it. But it is a massive quarry. Yeah. Crags up there. The start of the wall. There's a lake down there. Well, a little pond down there, which is quite nice. Nice for a picnic. So, we'll have a good walk about and then we'll head up onto the wall. So, we'll see you shortly. Oh, no chance of getting lost here. <laughs> the big old compass here. And uh, the views are pretty nice. Very nice, in fact. That's the pond I was talking about. There's the crags and the wall. We'll be heading up there shortly. Um, this is part of the country park here which is uh, very nice good for walking the dog in loads of paths loads of mazes actually as well you know, like labyrinths and that yeah quite nice but yeah definitely worth a visit it's lovely it's lovely so we'll head up to the wall and uh, I might do some shooting on the way there, shooting with the camera that is of course, and uh, we'll talk to you shortly. Now just some more views of the, uh, the quarrying that's been going on here over the years. Like you say, it's mostly Romans that quarried here. I don't know if anybody else will have, I assume they will have. But, uh, it was originally a Roman quarry, 
I have a quarried uh, stone for the wall. It's lovely colours until it's autumn. Start of the wall, on this section anyway. And just a quick scan of the country around. Again, it is beautiful. It's a nice country, nice bit of countryside. Definitely worth a visit. I don't know if you can, well, you probably actually, it's very difficult to see from here, but uh, the wall is impressive. And we've got more of it to see. But in my opinion, what is more impressive is some of the, um, you know, the land works that they've done, or earth works, should I say. You know, there's a massive, and I mean a massive, um, dike that they've cut through that hill there, um, where them sheep are. I don't know if you can see them there, sheep, not mushrooms, by the way. Um, yeah, we'll maybe go and have a look at that at the end of this. Anyway, onwards and upwards, up the wall. Oh, it's getting a little bit breezy up here. Hopefully you can still hear us. boots on for walking on the it'll tell you <laughs> and the motorcycle boots are there hard to walk in at the best of times Ooh. And they have no <laughs> grip on this sort of thing This section of it is about two metres tall, maybe. The rocks here. Like I say, it's a nice section of the wall. Really. It's not as famous as things like Chester's, Vindolanda, and all that sort of thing, but it's a nice section, this. And you see in the bottom there, you've got the Vallum. Which is a defensive part of the wall.
<laughs> now if I don't wind up on my backside in this section I'll eat hay with a horse because I normally just about wind up um, on my backside even when I'm in normal shoes like you know trainers and that sort of thing it can be a bit slippy on here like I was only here yesterday with the dog and it was reasonably dry but uh, now it's positively soggy and it looks like the sheep have been having a shit fest there you go lovely we'll be coming to another bit of quarry in a minute as well this is quite impressive Ooh, nearly, nearly. <laughs> what did i say <laughs> soggy Trying to get a bit of a sweat on here actually. All this gear on. This has nothing to do with uh, that famous bit of wall, uh, Sycamore Gap by the way. This has nothing to do with that. Kind of looks like it but it isn't. That's much further along the wall towards Newcastle. I think it's at Chester's actually. Could be wrong, but sheepies. Here's one of the turrets of which you'd have two of these between each mile castle. And this particular one predates the wall as you can see by the, uh, the join there. You know the wall's been built onto it rather than it being built as part of the wall like a lot of the other turrets are so it was probably a, a watchtower or something at one time or another prior to the wall being built got a history of it here actually Bit of an artist's impression. Looks nice. I don't think I'd, I'd want to be here. I still don't think I'd want to be here during the winter. And we'll just have a quick look down here, just briefly, and we'll head back. I've just realised I didn't get a ticket for the car park I'm not sure if motorcyclists need them or not but um, I think I might wind up uh, getting into trouble for that oh, there you go as is part of a quarry as well as you can see there's a huge embankment that runs along under here which I walk along with the dog I mean, you go you know go along there then climb down and then walk back along that embankment uh, which they've obviously used or built to get the stone out of here at some time or another I assume it's Roman you can see there's a lot of spoil as well on here or down there should I say you know where they've been doing the mining and stuff fantastic and there's lots to see further on but uh, like I say I want to get back so we shall see you shortly
and uh, we'll show you that um, what's going to call it that big old um, trench that they've dug so see you shortly So we're just walking the other way around the pond now it's a nice wooded area getting covered in bloody crap though like I say I was out here yesterday it was nothing as bad as this though yeah this is nice let's have a quick look here Pond. Now again, this is part of the quarry. This is what we were looking down on earlier. Very picturesque, a very nice little place for a picnic. Yeah. Now the sun comes out. God damn it. information about the local stoneworks and styles and that sort of thing traditional boundaries and traditional skills eh fantastic anyway um just about with the bike I'm hoping I haven't got a ticket and uh once I'm there, I'll get on the bike and we'll nip round to where that dike is. Give you the deke at that. So, no ticket on the bike. <laughs> Not that you would expect one, but bikes do have to pay there, just so as you know. Um, and... Yeah, I've paid for a ticket, but... Whether any cameras have, you know, have caught us and they decide to... Uh, nick me anyway for it now this is that dike I was on about I'll just put the bike in here somewhere where it's going to stand up without the threat of it falling over let's try that there we go okay let me take that a bit further back actually There we go. Cut that bit out, Mark. <laughs> right, so we'll just have a quick walk up onto here. Ah, the old bike. I do love my guitar today. Filthy. Now look at this for a dike. Cut as part of the defence of the wall. Unbelievable, eh? It's massive. 
and you think they didn't have JCBs or anything like that in those days, you know. Anyway, I could walk a bit further along as you can see how far it goes on and stuff, but I uh, just want to get out of here because it looks like we might be heading into rain shortly. So, see you shortly, and, uh, and I'll see you on the road. So that was Walltown Crags. Worth a visit in my opinion. Like I say, I come here quite often with the dog anyway, but uh, yeah, definitely worth a visit. Hopefully that rain's gonna miss us. Probably you can sneak round the side of it. And if you've visited there, you can go and have a nice meal in the, the pub there, the Green Head. Or even a prayer <laughs> in the church. It's a nice place. But anyway, guys and gals, uh, might as well say me goodbyes now because there's uh, not really anything else to talk about. So, if you've been watching, uh, thanks for watching. It's been much appreciated. Um, hit the like button, hit the dislike button, hit the subscribe button, whatever. And uh, hopefully, we'll see you again soon. Until then, all ride safely and peace.